Hey, Lucas here for Hanabi Glass Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make a marble. It's going to be very basic, just using clear and how you end up switching the different accesses in order to get no punty scar. So let's begin now. And here's what we're going to make. And here are the tools we're going to use. This is a very large marble mold. Next is a bit smaller and quite a bit nicer one. And this marble mold is my inexpensive one, which I recommend everybody having. Here are a medium sized pair of tweezers, 10 millimeter glass rod, and a couple of four millimeter glass rods for punties, as well as my trusty Zippo. So let's get started. I'm going to start by cleaning off the excess on the end using my tweezers. Here I'm gathering up the glass, which will be used to shape within the marble mold. So you'll notice that I keep switching hands back and forth as well as I don't constantly turn the glass in one direction. This is so that I don't have to worry about getting carpal tunnel syndrome or any stress on my hands. Here I'm going to use my marble mold to start shaping it just a little bit before I put the punty on. pretty important to clean up your punties before you use them. Here I'm going to heat it up and then shape it to a bit of a taper on my marva pad. When you attach your punty, allow it to cool down slightly before you touch it to whatever you're putting it on so that you get a nice cold seal. Here I'm going to be cutting off the 10 millimeter glass in the flame and we'll then start to gather it up and shape in the marble mold. As I'm heating up the gather, 
I keep the flame on the front two thirds of it so that the backfire doesn't cause the punty to flop around. Now I'm trying to shape it little at a time in my marble mold by reheating the outside and then shaping and reheating and shaping. You'll notice I'm using the larger hole to shape the marble to start and I use the smaller hole in order to finish around the edge which gives you a better spherical shape. Now I blow on the edge of the punty and I grab my tweezers and what you're going to want to do is hold it slightly above your marble mold and tap the punty with the tweezers until it pops off. And here I'm going to move the marble around with the tweezers or something else to change the angle where the punty scar was as well as reheat the punty and shape it with a slight taper and then punty up to it and just pick it up very lightly and twist a little bit to keep the shape and these parts are where you're going to start keeping it more on the front half of the marble in order to keep your punty as nice as possible with the least amount of scarring. So when you go to put it in the marble mold this time, start at the back side where it's a bit cooler and then move to the front as you rotate. This will keep it as, much, as spherical as you possibly can. I like using long lights, that way you can see on the surface of the glass a reflection, which makes it much easier to see imperfections on the glass or ripples. Once again, tap off while hovering above your marble mold, and change the way it's sitting with your tweezers, clean up your punty, and this will be the third and final movement that I do. But if you need to do more angles in order to get rid of most of your punchy stars, that's fine as well. One note on punties. You'll need to use a bigger diameter punty depending on the size of the marble that you're using or making. For example, if you're making, say, a three centimeter marble, you're probably going to want to use seven millimeter rod versus as opposed to using four millimeter rod, which I'm using here.
Well, thank you for watching and make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you can receive all the new content. And I'll be streaming live on Twitch three times a week. So make sure to check my schedule. And we also have a Discord set up if you want to ask any questions about glass or pretty much anything else. Anyway, thank you for watching.